Hello YouTube, how's everyone? Um, yeah, it's been a minute. I forgot the last time that I even recorded. But I will be making this one quick because, um, I don't know, I don't really have anything to talk about. Even though it's been a while, I think the last time I recorded was like the end of February, right before I went back to the States to visit. I really don't have anything to report from that because it wasn't the best trip in the world, you know, very time consuming, um, let's see, very expensive, I would say, just money, 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 I don't know, I just didn't, <clears throat> I didn't have the, the best time that I thought I would have going back to visit, but, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I am glad that I went to see my grandfather, but I kind of wish I would have been able to spend more time with him, and I ended up coming back early because I had a, um, uh, interview so I was like but let me get back home but just the whole process of leaving here and going back to the states um the military flights the military hops is it is a uh, tedious tiring and annoying and just to get back from England to Germany or Germany or get from England to Germany or, or Germany to England is crazy like there were no flights leaving out of here. And this is military flights, so I had to fly into Germany in order to get me a flight out to the States. And then in turn, get a flight back. I had to fly into from Baltimore to Maryland. And then I had to get a, a flight from Maryland. I mean, from Germany to England. So, the whole process is just crazy. Like, um, some people ask me, is it? do you think it's cheaper to just buy a, a direct flight or whatever from London to Baltimore, Virginia or whatever. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure I save a lot of money. I mean, tickets to, for a round trip are between, um, I think I might be able to find one for 500 but they're really between seven and $800 for a round trip ticket. So I'm pretty sure I saved some money, a lot of money. Um, I didn't have to pay either. I didn't have to pay anything or I didn't, I only had to pay like a small fee. So, you really can't knock the military flights and, you know, being able to go to so many different areas and countries and whatnot for a small price. So, no, I, I think that I actually saved doing what I did. It was just really annoying, time-consuming. Um, it takes a lot of your time and effort to do that. And that's why I don't plan on going back home for a while, at least a year, because, uh, no, that was just too much to deal with. And I still had to get, um, pay for my own personal flight from England to Germany and from Germany back to England. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not in a rush to do anything like that because it's just a lot of money. And honestly, if it wasn't for me really wanting to see my grandfather, I would have just stayed here. Because now I think about it, I could have saved that money and put it towards our trip. Because we are going to Spain for a family trip in June. So, you know, that money could have actually helped out with um, that trip. But anyway, I'm, it's over, it's done, and I've learned, lived and learned. So when I do go back home, I'll probably end up taking the kids with me. So that way I'll be able to, you know, be able to figure everything out, know what I'm doing, you know, be a, they call it a hop, you know, when you're hopping from country to country or state to state or whatever. And so... What it is is military flights that allow you, if they have the space, and they'll release a certain amount of seats, and if they have the space, then you are in a category, and the categories range from one to six. Six being retirees, one being, I think, emergencies or something like that, or people that are TDY or active duty. Um, three is like if you are married and you have a spouse with, with children and you're in category three. So... Yeah, that um I would I ended up being in category 5. Thank goodness um they had enough seats and whatnot, but that's the thing, you just kind of sit in this waiting game and if you have the time to do all that waiting and then it's easier, but it's harder for active duty or military people to do that type of flight because they only have a certain amount of time to be on leave. So excuse me, it's actually easier to just pay for a flight when you're active duty. Um, but yeah, it is a good thing. Like when you're retired, you and your spouse can actually, um, 
still travel without paying the crazy prices. You just have to be able to sit and wait and wait to see if you can get on a flight. I mean, it's all a waiting game. And if you can't get on that flight, then you try to get on another one. So, yeah, you just have to have patience and the time to, you know, that you're willing to actually, um, you know, do it. Now, as far as my nails, it is not coming off green at all. And that's why it's just, like, bad lighting in here. Because I'm in, like, this little office area in, um, in my house. And so, it's coming off blue, but it's actually green. Like, yeah. Um, if you hear any noise outside, the garbage men just decided to come. I mean, like, right when I'm in the middle of doing something, but whatever. Um, what else? That's about it. I didn't buy anything when I was at home. Um, that's unfortunate. I didn't get to do the shopping that I wanted to do. I didn't get to go makeup shopping like I wanted to. Um, all the stuff that I sent home for me to wear, my clothes and stuff like that. I had to end up sending that stuff back. So, I'm really, I spent majority of my money on things that I really wanted to be able to buy clothes and stuff like that. And things for my kids while I was there because it's cheaper. But that didn't happen, so... Now I just have to um make sure that, you know, I just continue online shopping or finding bargains in this area, you know. And then even though it's um, England and it's in the pound rate, you can't find bargains. I mean, I have. I mean, I at least try to anyway. Um, some things I might be able to find cheaper off base than on base. So, I mean, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, what else is going on? That's about it. I am... Still looking for another job. I'd be glad when I get one. But, I mean, right now I'm just going to be thankful to God with what I have. Um, I didn't get that job. I had the interview, but I didn't get that job. So, But hopefully something will come through. I mean, God has the plans, not me. So I'm just going to put it in his hands. Um, but, yeah, I haven't been on YouTube like that as far as this is my first video in, like, I guess two months almost two months and and that's the reason being is because I'm just like I mean I don't really have much to talk about um my viewer rates I, I guess they're okay or whatever but I mean I'm not getting a whole lot of subscribers so I don't figure that I'm not going to be up here um a lot doing anything I don't I look at makeup tutorials but I don't feel the need to be trying to do them right now I mean if somebody requests one that's different but I just don't have the time for that or whatever um, and that's about it. Um, it is becoming nicer outside. Today is probably about 65, 60, 64, 65 degrees. And tomorrow is supposed to be like almost 70. I know, right, for England. So tomorrow I might even wear like a little summer dress or something like that to work. Um, and some wedge heels. Finally, I could get out of my winter clothes a little bit. But it's supposed to go back down to the 50s after... Wednesday and then it might even be in the 40s so the weather here is unpredictable um it can say one thing and do another um that's about it uh I'm I am glad that this weather is breaking it makes me feel a lot better to get a little bit of sun and you know I am trying to get excited about this trip to Spain I'm trying to be on this whole workout kick right now because of my trip to Spain so yeah that's like my big thing right now I'm really trying to do this workout thing for Spain um I kind of been off when I went home you know people feed you or you want to go eat in every restaurant because you don't have them over here so I probably gained about six pounds and now I'm at the I'm at the point where I want to go back down to where I was before and I want to be able to fit in my bikini so I got a lot of work to do I'm being kind of lazy today but tomorrow I'm gonna get back to it I know I worked out yesterday my goal is to do four days a week I'm not going to sit there and make myself do anything, but I am going to try to do four days a week. Um, yeah, so that is my goal. Um, also, the 30-day squat challenge, I'm doing that. Um, what else? Walking, probably try to do a little running. Um, I did have an injury, so trying to get back to, to all of that. And um, that's about it. Just There's nothing else that's really going on with me. My life is pretty boring, so... You know, kids, activities, my daughter's running track, which I'm so happy with because the girl can run, you know. And I used to be a track, well, I ain't going to say a track star, but I ran for four years. So I guess you could, I don't know, 
I was I was really good, but it's just exciting to see her finally. I mean, do something that she's so good at. So, and there's nothing else going on right now. Hopefully. With the weather breaking, we'll be able to get out and do more um, outside activities, amusement parks, zoos, things like that. So, I am pretty excited about that. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Can't really see my makeup too great because this is not not the best lighting in here. But, you know, I am happy with my makeup right now. So, yeah, just a neutral eye and a nude lip. So, but yeah, my hair, I can't talk about my hair because I'm not doing anything with my hair right now. Like, seriously, I haven't even washed it in like three weeks. And I've been oiling it probably every few days. I don't know when I remember. <laughs> and I haven't been doing anything with it at all. So, we're supposed to take pictures this Saturday as family pictures. Um, depending on how the weather is because we're doing it outside. So, if the weather's good. And then I'll straighten my daughter's hair, and then I'll wash my hair and do something to it and figure out what style. Um, if you have any ideas on a style, like I probably do, I want a down style. I want, you know, something where my hair can hang. So I'm thinking about rotting it, or not even rotting it, maybe um, doing something to it to give me a curl, but still keep my length. So, yeah, I'll figure that out. Anywho, I'm just rambling trying to update everyone whoever is going to be watching this and yeah i'll be back probably whenever i do get some tutorials not tutorials but um hauls and i may do a makeup tutorial i just like i said when i'm doing my makeup i don't think about all of that i'm just doing my makeup so yeah that's about it all right everyone enjoy your tuesday peace